So in this video, I will be showing you how to set up RAID 1 with two hard drives. I believe it only works with two drives. Um, RAID 1 is essentially mirroring the other drive. So if you if you copy one uh, one file to one drive, it will copy it to the other one for uh, pretty much redundant storage. Um, um, it uh, unlike RAID one, sorry, unlike RAID zero, the drives don't combine to make two terabytes. RAID one will keep the same size, um, but it'll use both drives um, as one terabyte, and it just mirrors the files that you have on uh, on one, on one drive to the other. Meaning that if one drive fails, all your storage is all your data is still saved, um, and you can just replace this drive or the broken drive, add a new drive, and then the files that are still saved on the good drive will transfer to the new drive. Um, and then you know it keeps the files mirrored and safe. Um, so that is RAID one, unlike RAID zero. You know, it's RAID zero combines the storage, increasing it to two terabytes, and increasing performance. But um, all the storage is like it can be lost if anything's wrong with the RAID. Um, and so it's not really useful um, if you're using used hard drives like these. I bought these from eBay. Uh, I believe there were two for $30 so both uh, for $30 so it's like a combo deal and um, and I'm just gonna test them out with RAID 1 I have a gigabyte motherboard that supports software RAID and I'm gonna go ahead and install these drives and show you how it's done so once you've entered your BIOS for me I have a gigabyte x99 board I just press delete and it enters my BIOS. Um, here are the two drives. We have the two Seagate drives right here, both one terabyte. And when you look, for, what you want to look for is this right here, Intel Rapid Storage Technology. Um, the last video I made was for RAID Zero. I was using an ASUS board. Um, that one also used. Uh, into the rapid storage technology. What you want to do is want to enable it. You want to click. You want to click. Uh, you want to save. Save, and exit setup. This will enable the RAID configuration. And then once the PC restarts, you want to um, hit Control I. Control I when it when it reboots gonna prompt you to do so if you want to enter the RAID configuration just control I just hold control and hit high hold control and hit I and it should uh, bring you into the RAID configuration menu there you go all right so this is the RAID menu let's see Intel rapid storage technology Here's uh, how you set up your RAID. So what we want to do is, number one is create a RAID value. You want to go ahead and click enter on your keyboard. You can name your value uh, vo volume, whatever you want. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to name it RAID1. Test. You want to click enter. So here's when you, where you select which RAID you want. You can either select RAID 1, uh, sorry, RAID 0, RAID 1, recover, uh, and recovery. I believe you can do RAID 5, but you need more than more than two drives, I believe. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, this is what we're going to use, RAID 1, mirror. Um, so you're going to click enter. You're going to use all one terabytes. You hit enter and then create volume. You want to hit enter. It will tell you all the data and on the selected drive disks will be lost. 
So you want to make sure if you have anything on your drives to back it up because uh, it will delete all your data. I don't have anything in there, I, so I'm going to press yes, Y for yes, and there you go, that's your RAID. We have the RAID 1, the name, the level, RAID 1, uh, the size, 1 terabyte, stats normal, bootable, yes. You can uh, create a bootable Windows, so if you want like redundant Windows uh, boot, uh, you can do that with SSDs too, but uh, for us we're just going to do it as a backup drive. So here's your two drives, you have two CK Barracuda drives, and the, the capacity, and that's all you have to do for, for RAID for RAID 1. And all you gotta do is um, go ahead and press six on your keep on your keyboard, the number six, and it's just you sure you want to exit, you press Y because it's already set up. So the PC will restart and you will boot into Windows. Uh, and then we're gonna have to create the volume. I'll, I'll be back when it boots up. Alright, now we're in Windows. Uh, so the drive it will not show up on your um, devi uh, devices and drivers area. What you have to do is you want to search for create create and format hard disk partition. You want to go ahead and open that. And there it is, it found one disk. You must initialize this is before logical disk manager can be accessed it. You want to click OK. There you go. So this is our RAID 1 drive. So it's two one terabyte drives being mirrored. And go ahead and create a new, new sample volume. Hit next, hit next, hit next. Uh, you can name whatever you want. You can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, oh sure, well, here we go. Go ahead and just leave it as the normal. Go ahead and finish, and there you go. Raid one hard drives. So anytime you copy, you move any files or download any files or transfer any files to this drive, you're making it two copies of it um, for you know extra safety. In case one drive fails, you have all your data backed up in the other one. Just replace the broken drive and it will mirror the, the contents of the other drive and you have your data again in two drives for redundant storage pretty much. Um, and that, that's it, that's how you enable RAID 1 on Windows and on the Gigabyte board. Thanks for watching.